Welcome to another edition of Dan Factoids. Today we're going to be talking about blood donations and diving. Is it safe? Is it unsafe? Or should you wait? And if so, how long? One of our Dan members asked a question, a very interesting one, and that is, how long should you wait after donating blood? Now, we know, particularly in Southern Africa, that there are often accidents involving blood loss or surgical procedures in which blood is required, blood donations are required. And blood donors are therefore welcomed. And some of these are aviators and divers. The question, though, is, is it safe to do a blood donation, and particularly shortly before diving? Well, there are a couple of considerations. Firstly, blood is not just fluid. It's filled with cells. It's filled with platelets and minerals. And it takes a while to replace both the volume and the cells and the other cellular components. So it's important to have reserves. And that's why when people do blood donations, they are actually assessed for the level of iron that they have in their blood. Now this is done by checking the redness of the red blood cells but there are actually iron stores in the bone marrow and in other areas of the blood and body called ferritin. And that's like money in the bank. And ferritin levels can often be lower than the blood suggests. So our recommendation is that apart from just having your blood assessed at the blood bank, to also have your blood ferritin levels checked. And this you should discuss with a diving doctor. If all of this is in order and you have an adequate amount of blood, you're not anemic, and you have adequate iron or ferritin levels, the question is how long should it take before you will be back to normal blood volume in order to be able to dive safely? Now, clearly immediately after giving a blood donation, it's unwise to dive. But in looking at all our DAN data, after waiting one or two days after donating blood, there does not seem to be an increased risk of developing decompression illness or any other diving malady. We would still recommend that divers dive conservatively after doing blood donations. We encourage divers to donate blood if they have no underlying medical conditions or other reasons why they shouldn't donate blood. But it is important that you check that you have your own reserves to donate blood and thereby do not compromise your own health while trying to preserve another person's life. Be sensible, get good advice and discuss this with a diving physician or someone knowledgeable about diving and blood donations. Thank you. Thank you.